I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of Return. Oh, shit. Nothing to fuck to die for. Shit. Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Where are you? Oh. Wait, we need to talk. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Well, just now. What happened to Sagratch? The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. All right. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I won't. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. Is this all my same stuff? Oh, that's weak. Gave me all the same stuff I had before. And gave me a little more. Alright. I gotta get all the way to the Dublin parking lot. And there's no map. Okay. How do I get to the parking lot? Okay. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark force outside bright falls. A bell in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Waste ammo on them. Damn it. Holy shit.
so many of them. Okay. How much would I got on me? Yeah, I'm not wasting my ammo. Push. Run, fool. Run. Oh, Lord. Run. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Run, fool. pushing I have no idea where I'm going there's no map oh fuck you in the dark place, the dark presence of me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, turned me into scratch. Or Alan, we getting out of here, brother. We are getting out of here. <coughs> Is the car? Yes. I had to get to Bright Falls. See. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga. Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. All right, Alan. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. Okay. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go, Alan. What I expected. The illusion, bro. It's illusion. Return shines a light on its author's brilliantly dark mind. It's time, Koskava brothers. Hello, I'm Ilma Koskava, and welcome to the 
the Costco Brothers Book Club. This mm. week we will review the highly. Okay. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of Return. Oh shit. Story. Oh, I love it. Yeah. A book to die for. Shit. Oh hell no. get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. You got this, Alan. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Oh, it's in that door I couldn't unlock earlier. Let's go then. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be stuff in my way. But it's all good. Cause I'm ready. Oh wait, I don't have guns. I needed to reach the writer's room. Oh, right crap. in the conclusion was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche. I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. to find another way inside. Shut. Okay. I'm telling me it's gonna maybe go to the basement. No? Hey, how do I get in here? Stay away up from the basement? I don't think so. Oh, chef, it's gonna make me go through here, I see. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Ghost Alice, I need you to help me out, baby. Help me out. I'm coming. Oh, God. Run, brother, run. Oh, fuck you. Diner. 
How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rosa, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> yeah. Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Get upstairs. Where's the stairs? There it is. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm. Now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. Come on, brother. Help me one last time. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. All right, let's finish this. All right, I was here. Wrong. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. All right, then let's write it. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story... The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Dang, is it gonna make me choose between them? Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. 
We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. Let's go.